Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Kill this. Birdie num num. Hello. Birdie num num. Birdie num num. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I hope you are having a good week. I am having a good week. Welcome back to the Birdie Num Num podcast, the BNN. Having a good time doing video again. If you are listening on the audio version, there's no need to go uh, to the video. But if you are here on YouTube and uh, you are interested, welcome. Um, What's up, everybody? I am doing well. It is exciting to be here this week. Uh, been a little busy, so I have not been able to record these podcasts. Um, but today I am going to take a suggestion from a user I, whose name I have forgot. But bro, if you're listening, I got you. I was looking in my Instagram. You can't search on Instagram for messages the way you can search with Gmail, uh, which is annoying. But I did make a note separately in Evernote because that's the app I use um, about the topic today and this is straight from you guys okay and today's topic is about grooming and how ironic i am not shaving i have not shaved in a few days uh because i have a show tomorrow and for um i don't know if anyone else does this i basically plan my shaves ahead of time so if i know i have a show on sunday then i know i should shave on saturday because i like to have that little bit of little gruff, you know, so I will probably shave today, but then yesterday I was like, no, I got to hold off another day because I got lazy, and here we are. So today's topic, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fans of the Birdie Num Num podcast on iTunes and Spotify and Stitcher, by the way, and it's exciting because podcasts are picking up, and this podcast, we have grown 500%. Thank you. I don't give numbers out very often, but 500% from one to five. I'm joking. We are well over quite a bit, so it feels good. I am buying books, as you can see, from all this. But today's topic, before I digress, is yes, about grooming. Not just about shaving and showering. Shower. My wife is funny. She's like, she whenever she impersonates somebody in like Bombay, she's like, go for a sha? Are you going for a sha? (laughs) I don't even know what that is. And ironically, she's Gujarati, so I'm like, shock. Um, But yes, grooming is a fun thing here in India. And I'm not going to be like, everybody stinks, like that typical NRI, uh, you know, sort of attitude. Um, But I think grooming is so important for men and women to a point, okay? And I want to ask you guys, honestly, do you guys think, ladies who are listening to the Birdie Num Num podcast or guys as well, um, should guys do their eyebrows, by the way? I'm going to... I'm going to be a little honest here. I have not done my I have not done my eyebrows in like 5 years. Uh but when I was younger, I let the guy do a little trimmy trim, you know, because before I thought it was, you know, a little feminine or weird. I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Dude, it's so funny. You see all these tough ass guys at the gym. Uh, they're like freaking like pumping iron and this is me pumping iron. This is why I'm not at the gym right now. This is how you freaking um, Hey, dude, freaking let's go. Um, so you see these guys pumping iron. And I remember I was driving from Indranagar to the Taco Bell Signal in Kormangala, which I love about Bangalore is Taco Bell is a landmark, not a restaurant. You know, a rickshaw guy doesn't know that Taco Bell is a restaurant. But if you say Taco Bell Signal, he's like, oh, yeah, I got you. Um, Chipotle burrito. Um, anyway, so basically I realized this. I was at the gym and all these tough macho guys, six pack, whey protein, creatine, whatever. And then I'm driving and I'm stuck in traffic because this is Bangalore. And I look and there's freaking Manju, Manju Gents Parlor, Gent Salon or whatever it is. And and I, I noticed there's a guy from my car. I'm looking and I noticed there's a guy in the gents parlor who goes to my gym. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. He's probably getting a little trim trim, little size, you know, zero or one or whatever. Um, by the way, my barber hates this white hair. I don't. I tell him it looks distinguished, and he looks at me like, what the hell does distinguished mean? Um, but then I'm like, no, dude, come on. And he's like, sad, Garnier, Dalo, sad, please. And I'm like, I'll give you 400 bucks. Just keep it, but stop making fun of my hair, please. Um, I don't really care, actually. It's actually kind of funny. Um, so I see this guy. In my, I'm excited to talk to you guys, all right? I have not talked to you in some time. You and I have a nice open dialogue. So I see this guy from my gym in Manju Jen's parlor, and he's getting his hair cut. I'm stuck in traffic. It's like a three-minute signal, right? And then the guy leans over, points like this to the barber, and like lifts up his shirt, and the barber starts trimming his back. 
like full on, like not like this part, not like this right here. I mean, he is like, bent, and literally 800 cars are right outside Jen's parlor opposite Ambur Biryani or like whatever. And this guy is just, you know, and he's buff, good for him, whatever. But he's like, boom. And, and that's when I realized, whoa, Jen's parlor is way more than freaking Malish coconut oil haircut and shave oh my goodness you can tell the guy yo just give me a little trimmy trim on all this stuff and you know it's weird because as a macho macho big dude i was like dude that's so awkward um but then i was like yeah back hair is disgusting <laughs> you know so there's nothing wrong dude i feel like i don't know why why as guys we think we're so i'm not saying get all who's that big youtuber james something who's like killing on youtube with the makeup i'm not saying go all crazy, be more girly than your girl or like whatever. Um, if you're if you're not into that is what I'm saying. But it's okay if you want to clean up, guys. All right. So there's a stigma, ironically, as my lens cap is Sigma, if anybody is wondering what I shoot on. This is the Sigma 18 to 35 1.8 lens I bought six, like six years ago for freaking 800 bucks and never used it. So there's a stigma and this is a Sigma. Whoa. Branding. Anyways. Um, that's so funny, but I love it when you see videos and they're like, here's the gear I use. Now here's an Amazon affiliate link. Um, so yeah, I see this guy getting his back shaved and I was like, I had so many mixed emotions. I was like, well, is that, and I, I don't, I'm not being all anti gender or, you know, uh, homophobic or whatever, but you know, growing up, anyone who's above 30, yes, we would use the term that's so gay or that's so this. We're better than it now. We've moved on. We realize it's an issue. But I was like, Ugh. you know, like, why do I have these mixed emotions about it? And this was, I forgot how long ago this was. And now I'm proud to admit my wife shaves my back. Um, joking. I don't make her shave it. I just make her like take the clippers and like help me get to the hard to reach places. But yes, it's okay if you have back hair, guys. It's okay to get rid of it because you know what? It is disgusting. And when I was younger, when I was like, you know, 15, 16, 17 in America, um and i was embarrassed of having chest hair dude i was like i think i trimmed it a while ago but i was like actually because indian people dude like and you girls are not are not uh what's the word i'm looking for you are not innocent here all right it's so funny like indian women like guys we're disgustingly hairy and you know the pictures of anil kapoor and like all that stuff anil kapoor is just always wearing a jacket you know even in the shower <laughs> like that guy is hairy uh and so when i was younger you know growing up in america dude when i was like six i had leg hair at six okay that's how indian i am right and i was like embarrassed of it i don't know why leg hair arm hair all that stuff and then i saw the girls when i was like 11 and i was like whoa you ladies have got some hair <laughs> like indian girls like from like 10 to 15 they get the mustaches, they get the hair. I'm going to get back to the guys, don't worry. And then right after college, it like all disappears because the women are like, okay, these are the standards of beauty that society has defined for us. And I know plenty of women, my wife included, whoever, and they're like, yo, if you want it and you're fine with it, go for it. Don't shave your armpits, don't do whatever. That's fine, dude, for sure, do it. But ladies especially are like, dude, I think it's gross. I want to shave my legs. I want to shave. And I'm like, fine, that's great. And my brain has been brainwashed to find that attractive. Just like a girl might see my chest here. Not a girl anymore. My wife, because I'm married. Take that back. Let's rewind. Um, but she might, you know, see that. Ironically, made in Japan. Now, I'm, I'm, this is not sponsored by any company. But wow, there are just signals everywhere. Um but like, yeah, dude, I think for Indians, we have so much body hair. And I, this is not where I was planning to go with this podcast. But as you know, we digress all the time. And I think the stigma should be that if you want to get rid of it, if you don't want it, especially in a place like India, where it is so cheap to get a 30 rupee trim trim or a 50 rupee, 100 rupee shave shave. By the way, I, in Bangalore, where I go, this, this is my favorite thing. Like one of my buddies, Shri, okay, if you're listening... Like, he'll go to this place called Bounce in Bangalore, and it's like 800 bucks, 1,000 bucks for a haircut, and then like a shave and like a whatever. Um, and I will go to a 60 rupee Manju Gents parlor here in Dumlur or Indonagar, and we'll be side by side, and nobody, and I mean nobody, is the wiser. You know what I mean? I'm trying to see if I'm still in focus, you guys. Um, and the point I'm trying to make with all of this is simple. 
Indian guys and Indian girls, okay, even non-Indians, but anybody, it's okay to groom yourself. In fact, if it makes you feel better, if it makes you feel confident, if it makes you, you know, have a step at the job or do better in your performance or engage better on a Tinder date or whatever it might be, do it, okay? And I don't know if there is a issue about grooming or not, but with regards to shaving and haircuts and showers, I think we're all okay. Um, I think everyone has different styles. I know you could walk into the office and, you know, Parvati walks in with... Uh, you know, 18 flowers in her hair and smells like a coconut tree just exploded on her. And that's fine. Right. On the flip side, there are other people, haircuts, trimming, all that stuff we've covered. But there's other people with regards to transition where I'm moving now with this is on the showering and on the oils and on the soaps. OK, here's my thing. All right. Do you guys have that guy or girl in your office who literally comes into work 9 a.m., 10 a.m.? You know they showered, they're shiny, it's like full shine, you know, it's like glowing, staring at you, but then they stink, and you're like, whoa, how the hell did this happen? You literally just showered one hour ago, and now I'm sitting next to you looking at this spreadsheet talking about the purchase orders from last week, I don't know why, because who cares, it's not our money, Um, and then you stink, and I haven't showered since Thursday, and it's Friday right now. And I smell fine. We both took the shuttle. We both, uh, you know, got here on time. We were both in the same heat in this Bangalore weather. How do you stink having just showered? And how do I not stink having, you know, uh, showered yesterday? And if you don't understand this, you might be the one who stinks, okay? And that's fine. It doesn't stink at all. But here's my point. And I'm going to go out on a whim here, okay? I'm going to go, not everybody, but there are people in India, abroad, Asian, not Asian, white, not white, African-American, not African-American, whatever. But in India, my experience is that deodorant is not as prevalent as it is in the West. And don't get me wrong, we have, don't get me wrong, as the camera cuts out, in case people get angry, I can say I never said it, but don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we are naturally smellier than other people. I'm not trying to get in trouble here. I'm not trying to like, I'm just saying you go into a shop. Now there's Axe Dio and there's like all that stuff. And it's like, yeah, freaking spray this and you'll get, I I stink right now, by the way. I smell like shit right now. I don't know. It's been like a couple of months since I've smelled like this, but yeah, it's happening. Ironically, because I'm a hypocrite. So here I go. Um, but who are, and I'll, I'll never say this to my friends. You guys remember there was like a, that website, Sharja or Sar- Saraja, whatever, that anonymous tips website. Dude, I have a buddy, okay? A friend of mine knew this guy. He was like, uh, you know, uh, some super crazy, super fancy, private equity, rich, big, you know, the type of guy is like, oh, McKinsey, Bay say, G Bain, I'm so cool. I went to Harvard, those types, right? I think this guy was from Dehradun or like, you know, somewhere in the north. The north, the winter is coming. Game of Thrones was awesome. See my other podcast. I don't care if you guys didn't like it. Um, And this guy was really smelly. And, you know, nobody has the heart to tell him, you know, he's wearing these big suits. He's a big NBA guy. He's 30, 35 years old, but he is not meeting any of the ladies. No luck at all. And he is the quintessential Indian mother's, like, dream boy, you know, like, Harvard MBA, killing it, whatever, making tons of money, must have one or two mil in the bank, literally, and checking all the right boxes, respectable job, respectable community, but just heaving and huffing and puffing and, like, just literally walks up the stairs and, like, drenched in sweat in that $3,000 suit that, and, you know, struggling to find anything okay and forget even trying to get a lucky he's just not having any luck okay even on a date right so my good friend and me we decide you know what should we do like we don't want to tell him because here's the problem when you have really close friends or even acquaintances we are so nervous about telling somebody hey your breath smells or hey put on some deodorant or hey your dandruff is like leaking all over me and you know 
This has happened to me too, dude. One of my best friends in America is like, Sanjay, ew, gross, I need to fix your hair. Or ew, like whatever. And I'm like, dude, what's the big deal? And literally as simple as, Sanjay, you do this too much. Freaking sit up and sit properly. And if you talk to people at bars, and this is like when I was like 22 and he was right, they would call me slouchy. Hey, slouchy, Sanjay. You know, and I and it became a thing that I noticed. And yes, having good posture is a good thing. And yes, taking showers is a good thing. So this buddy of mine, okay, just perfect, and he stunk. So we were like, how do we tell this guy? Because we don't want to hurt his feelings, and we don't want to. And guys are are ruthless, right? We're like, ew, you freaking stink. Go take a shower, or we just deal with it because we can learn to ignore it, right? Um, Sometimes, And, (laughs) and so we were like, all right. So this is pre that Sharjah website and all, but basically opened up Gmail, anonymous email account, all right, typed from a friend who cares about you and was like, hey, man, uh, you stink. Uh, You don't know me, but I have worked with you in the past. We made some shit up. You know, I worked with you at uh, when you came to Michigan for this consulting job or whatever. Use some bit of notoriety and uh, basically told him, Um, We care about you. We see that you're struggling on the dating scene. We see that you really want to get your life together, even though God has given you everything at this point. But one friendly tip, please. Maybe you overlooked it. Maybe you didn't grow up with it. Maybe it's not part of your background or your culture. And he was Indian American, not Indian Indian. Okay. But we're like, hey, just very simple thing. Every morning after you're done with your shower, Old Spice. You know, sorry, guys, I know you don't want to see that, but just take care of it. Simple. I want to, okay, let me finish because I get ahead of myself. Don't let yourself get in the way of yourself is great life advice. Um, So we tell him this, send off the email, okay? A couple of months go by, don't think anything of it. No response, by the way, okay? Get to this guy's house one fine six months later or whatever it is because we are cheap and we are staying in you know, the city that we were in, go to his bathroom, not together. I'm saying I go to his bathroom, you know, when I had to go, open up the medicine cabinet and boom, Old Spice, boom, Brute, boom, Chanel, Cologne, boom, Ralph Lauren, Cologne, boom, Aqua Di Giorgio or whatever the hell, boom, boom. This guy has spent like a thousand dollars on old not 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 deodorant but like on like colognes and aftershaves and yes deodorant and yes axe deo and all of that stuff and it's just covered all over his million dollar apartment and guess what three months later he met a girl great beautiful girl three months after that they were engaged a year later they were married and that guy was me. I'm, I'm joking. I'm kidding. I'm saying like, and that guy grew up to be Britney Spears. Uh, <laughs> I love those memes, by the way. Uh, but this is a true story. Literally, hey, man, wear deodorant, shave once in a while, all your baggy eyes. You know those people, and I apologize if this is like a genetic condition, but those people who are always huffy and puffy and they have, I have crazy dark circles, but it's literally a simple thing. Literally buying a $2, 100 rupee deodorant has changed people's lives. And this goes both ways, okay? I know for those of you who are just like waiting to jump on me, like you're being freaking so... No, I'm not. It goes both ways, okay? Indians, Desis, Pakistanis, whatever. We also have amazing things. We have coconut oil, which is dope. I love it. I make my mom or my... I don't make her, but she likes to do it, you know, or whatever. But like, yeah, come on, let's go for it. All those Malish massages are freaking awesome. Malish. Um, we have coconut oil. We have all that. Dude, I love it when people... Now I'm going to take the flip side before you guys try to rip me a new one. I love it when uh, you go to America and they're like, ooh, made with real turmeric powder or using real coconut oil. Only $19. Ugh, this pisses me off. We have been doing this for hundreds of years for like 5 cents or 10 rupees. And it's still 10 rupees. And my brother especially... Like my bro, when I moved to India ten years ago, um, it was so I had such an NRI attitude. I've made those videos on my YouTube channel called the NRI Chutes, which not a lot of people understand is satire. So I get a lot of shit on those videos, but it's meant to make fun of the people who come here and are like 
Ew, the Colgate toothpaste is different, or eh, the McDonald's doesn't taste the same. It's meant to ridicule those people. So, like, I moved here. I got over it. I realized growing up in America, I was kind of brainwashed. Wow, Colgate in America is charging $8 for charcoal toothpaste. Wow, Indians have been saying that forever. Or baking soda, or haldi in the toothpaste. And when, like, white people come here, see, like, freaking... Wow, we should put real turmeric powder in that hair stuff or in that toothpaste and charge a bomb. People buy that shit and they're idiots because it's a lot cheaper if you do it yourself. Um, So when I moved here, I was here for a few years. I got over it. I realized. I adjusted. Nothing is different. It's all the same. We're all just a cog in the corporate machine. Then my brother came here and he had the same attitude I had two years back. But on the airplane, we were flying from Bangalore to Bombay to visit our cousins at a production house in Bombay. And they are great kids. Um, And we're on this flight from Bangalore to Mumbai. And uh, my brother is like, ew, it freaking smells like B.O. Everyone stinks. And he says this on Indigo Flight 6271 or Kingfisher Airlines, whatever it was at that time. And I'm like, hey, you dumbass. Everybody can understand you. Like, I don't know. Because growing up in America, there'd always be, like, one guy from, like, you know, some IT guy somewhere on an airplane just smelling like coconuts. And me and my brother were six, okay? So we were ignorant and stupid, but we were, like, smells like curry or, like, whatever. And Indian Americans, I'm sure you can relate. Indian Indians are probably fuming, thinking I'm being racist. But, no, this is how kids grew up over there. I mean, just explaining, in all honesty— And so when I got here, I realized, wow, okay. But my brother was just like, everyone freaking stinks. And I was like, dude, they're Indian, we're Indian, we're all the same body type. You know what I mean? Like, we're not going to be any different. But we just realized, oh, we've been ingrained. Just like we're probably going to go balder faster because we're not using amazing coconut oil from the trees. Uh, You know, like maybe deodorant wasn't a thing, but using saffron or something else was. And that's why I think... I think in the West, everybody needs to start using coconut oil. Everyone needs to start using turmeric powder. Everyone's, I don't even know what we use healthy for, but I know we got to start using it for something. Everyone's got to put cucumbers in their eyes, not buy these $8,000 expensive face washes. Dude, one of the best face washes I've, dude, I had acne so bad. I had acne until I was like 31 and I'm no, that was a few years ago. And, uh, I do that joke all the time. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, But I had acne freaking, as I look at my notes here, what I mean, I keep notes once in a while, shaving we covered, deodorant we covered. Um, So yeah, I had acne, nothing was fixing it. I I didn't try Accutane ever because I heard it causes depression. Um, But I literally tried every Shiseido, Clinique, uh, all these crazy fancy uh, things, proactive I tried, pimples, 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 way Way until 30 and beyond, right? Is that even a word, way until 30? I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, And then Amazon. Hello, Amazon, if you're listening. Uh, You know, reviews were a big thing back in my day when reviews just started. And I freaking was reading, like, I was like, wow, there are like $6 face washes that have like 1,800 reviews and like housewives in Nebraska are like, don't buy hey y'all don't buy that crazy clinique's face wash just buy this this is my housewife in nashville hey y'all you just need to buy this seven dollar clinique's face wash we've been using it forever not clinique sorry clarins clarins and cetaphil they are in india now nobody sponsors this podcast this is not any branded thing but i was like wow ten dollar cetaphil or seven dollar clarins or whatever and in india it's probably double or triple the price but it's still dirt cheap for what you get and i just started using that based on amazon reviews and i'm proud to admit you guys it saved my life no i'm saying but it cleared me right up dude literally ten dollar face wash 500 rupee bottle of face wash that lasts years cleared me right up no crazy products nothing and literally three dollar 120 rupee old spice deodorant I can shower for three days and I don't smell, okay? Yet somebody on my bus who showered that morning in the Chennai weather or Bangalore weather stinks, okay? And that's fine if, okay, again, disclaimer, because I know some people will still get, this is just grooming tips, okay? But grooming is so important 
for the Indian man and the Indian female because we are constantly at odds with what is a standard of beauty. Is it light skin? Is it fair skin? Is it freaking having hair? Is it going bald? Is it short hair for ladies? Is it curly hair? Whatever, right? My freaking best friend, Burhan, growing up in America, we were like 20. And he's like, dude, my hairline started to go like, you know? And uh, he was like, ew, if you go bald, I can't be your friend. Yeah. 20. Try dealing with that when you're 20. 20 years old. And like, dude, when you're like 20, your hairline is like here. You literally just have, you have no forehead. That's how good your hairline is. I'm talking to you, my cousin Sonny. Monik Tala, who uh, is a good IT person now in New York. Um, like, your hairline is like this, dude, when you're freaking 20 years old. And then it just starts, and you think, like, I'm, this is what I love about freaking 20-year-old Indian kids who watch Imran Khan Amplifier. Like, they are so happy with their hair, yet they cut most of it off. You know what I mean? It's, all, it's like, yo, I don't need this hair, but I have it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need to have crazy long hair on the sides. But as you can see from this razor fade that I go pay $20 every week to my uh, barber Carlos, it's still there. But then the second they realize it's starting to thin, it's like, no, 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 come back. Well, you weren't, it's like your, your head is like, you weren't even using it. You were getting a zero and like a two up top just to look like freaking Jay Sean down, down, you know, like the, okay, the Jay Sean haircut. Here's an experiment. Somebody, uh, can somebody please Photoshop Jay Sean's hairline and or do like a little time lapse and tell me has it moved? I don't know. I have not looked, but I'm assuming when you guys first heard of him, it was like this, and now it's probably like this plus surgery or Dr. Butra or whoever the hair guys are. But yeah, dude, younger guys they don't like young people. They think so. You youngsters, like you think you're so invincible, and I'm one of them, dude. When I was 20, I had. I would like shave it like that and then just keep a nice little bit on the top because I was like, I can do that. And then as I got older, I started to appreciate letting it flow out a bit. You know, people always make fun of me. They're like, uh, they're like, dude, a lot of salt and pepper hair, huh? Going white, huh? I'm like, yo, as long as I have it, I do not care what color it is. Okay? Am I in focus? I can't even tell. Um, so... I'm just saying, you guys, on this episode of the Birdie Num Num podcast, please write, like, rate, review, that you guys basically listen to me, my final words, okay? Grooming is not required. You can happily grow a beard. You can happily shower, not shower. You can happily keep your hair long or shave it off or go bald or have a mustache or have chest hair or armpit hair. Guys and girls, do whatever you want. But just like anything in life, like I am telling the white people to use coconut oil in your head and not pay $19 for a one ounce bottle at Whole Foods, but go to your Indian market and get the exact same thing that's probably even better and more concentrated for $1. I'm saying to the South Asian, since you only asked, grooming is important if it helps you in your confidence, in your demeanor. And I think we can all agree, my wife and I are so funny, like, we're so hilarious. A oh, couple goals. I love that when people comment. Couple goals, relationship goals. Um, you know, when we were dating initially, I'd be like, dude, I'm so glad. Like, we'd go out on a hike for two days. But both of us were like, just like spraying that deodorant, like, like whatever. And then we'd be like, you know, I'm so... I'd like look at her. I'm so glad you don't stink. And she's like, what do you mean? And I was like, no, it's just you would think after like, we haven't showered in two days on this hike. But you and I both at least are kind of like addicted to just like dabbing deodorant on. And I'm just so happy you don't stink. And she was like, oh, this is the sweetest thing, I think, you know. <laughs> so my point I'm trying to make, folks, on the Birdie Num Num podcast as we hit minute 30 on my H4N recorder. And I apologize for that noise is grooming showering shaving i personally recommend look i don't shower every day i get lazy i forget but i recommend if it makes you feel good on the outside sorry yes that is correct if it makes you feel good on the outside it will most likely also help you make you feel good on the inside so shave don't shave do what you got to do okay but i personally think at the very least every single day 
at the very least. Deodorant, each armpit. Ask your partner if you want. You know, there's no point in hiding. If you want your partner to shave your back, that's true love, ladies and gentlemen. It's true love, okay? So let me know your guys' thoughts. I know this was a bit rambly this week on the Birdie Num Num podcast, but um, yeah, I mean, grooming is way more. You know, it's important, you guys, okay? So uh, it's important for me, at least. And if it's, import- if it's not important for you or you think I was way off, I would love to be challenged on this. I would love at least to know where I messed up on this so I can do better next time. But if you agree also, do let me know why. And if you think I missed out on anything, do drop me a comment below. But uh, I hope that was helpful. And at the very least, $1 deodorant can change your life, everyone. So, Sanjay Manikthala, I appreciate you guys so much. And I will see you next week. Birdie num num. Birdie num num. Birdie num num. Birdie num num. That's right.